Hey people, in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the Arduino Uno R4 development board to send text messages. We are not going to use any external hardware like a GSM module. Now this board supports Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to use an API created by Circuit Digest. If you go to circuitdigest.cloud, you will see something called SMS notification API. So using this API, I'm going to show you how you can send free text messages from your Arduino Uno R4 board. So let me tell you upfront that this API is completely free to use. The only two limitation is that you can send only up to 100 SMS every month, which I think is more than enough. And also you'll be able to use only Indian phone numbers. So you can send SMS only to Indian phone numbers. If you're outside of India, then right now this API will not support you. That being said, let's get started. Okay, so first thing first, make sure what you're having is the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. Your board should look something like this. Connect it to your computer and open up your Arduino IDE. Now, before we start with the code, there are a few things which we should do. And to help you with that, we have created a documentation called how to send SMS with Arduino via internet. The link for this documentation can be found in the description. It's going to be really helpful. But anyways, let me explain what uh, you need to do. So make sure your board is connected to the computer. Make sure you have installed the board manager and everything. And then before we go to the code section, let's jump over to circuitdigest.cloud. This is where you will find all our APIs and we are interested in this API which can be used to send SMS. Now click on login. I have already registered. It's free to register. You can also register if you have not done that earlier. And then I go to my account. And here you can see that I already have an API key, but you might want to solve a CAPTCHA to get this API key. And then you can see that I have 100 usage left for the month of April. So today is 1st of April, so till 30th of April, I can use 100 SMS. And then down here, you can see that there are linked phone numbers. So these are the phone numbers to which you can send SMS. Now, this system is there to prevent people from randomly sending uh, text messages to random people. So you would have to enroll your number with your account so that you can send an SMS to it. Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to put in my number here and then solve this CAPTCHA as well. Click on get OTP and I have received an SMS from a semicon, which is the company's name and it is 9814. I want to just enter that here. Once you click on verify OTP, you can see that the new number is added to your linked phone numbers. This means that now you can send SMS to this number. Now that we have the API key ready and also the phone number is linked. Let's go back to the documentation, go all the way down. There is code explanation and everything you need over here, but we'll just scroll all the way down and copy the code from here of the complete project. And then we're going to paste it in the Arduino IDE. I'm going to explain what's happening in the code here. So first thing, uh, we're going to include the Wi-Fi S3.h, which is a header file to uh, connect to the internet and then we're going to connect to our office Wi-Fi using the Wi-Fi name and its password. After that here we have the API credentials. Now this is why we registered on Circuit Digest Cloud. We're going to go back here and get this API key and then replace this XXX with the API key. And then we have something called template ID. Now you can't send random or spam messages to people. You can only send templates, meaning if you go back to the documentation, you'll find a table with all the template num ID and the template type and the message. Say for example, if you are using template ID 101, then the message that will be sent is your variable is currently at variable. So each message has two variables in which you can uh, send in your name or your uh, sensors value or whatever it is. So we have almost 18, sorry, almost 15 templates. So each of this template has a different text. If you think there is something missing, you can let us know and we will add it. 
So in each of this template, the message is customized and each template will have two variables. You can give a different value to these two variables. Now, one more thing that you should remember is the variable name should not consist of any links. So these are all rules set by the RI of India. So we can't send any links in this variable. Make sure you're not adding any links and you're all good. Now let's select any template ID for the sake of this tutorial. Let's say you're building a a burglar alarm and you want to send an sms that a motion has been directed then you can use template id 103 saying that motion detected by position sensor in the main entrance investigate immediately so you can use any of these templates here based on your application it might be temperature alert motion alert battery low alert periodic reminder service reminder say for example you're having a product for which you need to uh, in intimate service when something goes Goes wrong you can tell it's time to service your this and this your last service was this you can send error notifications you can have door and window status system reboot so say if you have some uh, always running iot device in your home and you want to know when it gets rebooted you can send an sms to yourself using the system reboot if you're running a remote task and you want to get intimated by sms then you can use this task completion so there are different ids you can use anything of your choice i think you already get the idea so let's go back to this motion detected the template id is 103 i'm just gonna go back to the program and mention template id here and then the mobile number is the number to which the SMS should be sent. Always start with 91 for India. So this is my mobile number. And then the variable one is going to be what we told here. So motion detected by this is variable one. Let's say variable one is motion sensor for me. And variable two is the location. So motion detected by a position sensor in the main entrance or main gate. Let me tell main gate. So this is what I want my message to have. Now for the sake of demonstration, I am hard coding these values, but you can actually have multiple motion sensors or multiple positions, or you can even read the value of position sensor and how much distance the motion was detected. You can read all those values and pass that value as a variable in the main loop. Okay, now I'm not going to get in detail of what's happening in the remaining code because most of that is going to remain stationary for you also. If you are interested, you can check out this documentation where we have explained the complete code. Now, let me just upload this code. I'm going to select Arduino Uno R for Wi-Fi, which is our development board over here. And then click on Upload. As you can see, the code is uploading and now it's uploaded. So we are connecting to the server and the print message says SMS sent successfully. And on the phone also, you can see here that I have received a new message. Let's go and see the most recent message is saying motion detected by motion sensor in the main gate. So the template we have used is for motion detected and for the variable one, we used motion sensor and for variable two, we used main gate. So just like this, you can use any template and you can send any messages with two variables in it. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned something useful and is excited to try sending SMS from your Arduino boards directly. If you have any questions, do let them know in the comment section and we'll try our best in helping you out. Also, if you're using this API for anything interesting, do share it with us as well. We are curious to see how you're using it. That being said, have a good day. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.